There's some, some misinformation that's gone out that we definitely need to uh, address. And, and how that information was dis uh, disseminated really is of a concern to us. And how that process circumvented the Grand Chief's office before it went out. And that for us is, is a big concern when the RCMP represent or present information that says otherwise that they're not they're not they're not giving you the full story on what's happened and for us uh, we want some clarity really it's kind of a uh, a slap in the face to the chiefs of every nation when we're finding out this after the fact um, I'm sitting here as a mother of a, a son of a mother who lost a daughter to this stuff and, and knowing firsthand what it feels like um, as a chief, I sit here and I worry about the women of every nation, of all of Canada, because they're the givers of life. I um, actually find great offense to these um, allegations, and I call them allegations because I haven't seen any data in front of me that states that 70% of our men are killing. I say this because I find offense because I birthed a man an indigenous man who I believe I've raised to be respectful, to honor our customs, that women are life givers. What we're looking for is we're looking for help. You know, we're looking for people to, to support us in this search that we're trying to find our relatives. Mm -hmm. So we need to come together. We need to stand together and look for these solutions and, and encourage the government. There's an election happening right now. How many of the people who are in their campaign today are listening to us? and we need them to participate in this. So as we go forward, I just want to ask the people out there, help us find our relatives.